Hey everyone, and welcome to another week of Kinder Chat. This week, I am sharing all about one of my favorite resources that you can use in your classroom, and it is called Boom Cards. So Boom Cards is hosted on Boom Learning, which is a whole separate website that you can assign students fun, interactive, self-checking task card type activities online. So no matter if your students are playing them on a phone, on a tablet, on an iPad, or on a computer, you are able to give them to the students as long as you have internet service. So today I am just gonna run through real quick how easy it is to set up Boom cards for your students. Let's go. So today I'm just going to show you how easy it is to use Boom cards with your students. So to try this out, you can click on the link below to take you to this free Boom card set. This is a sight word themed Boom cards for back to school time for kindergarten. So the first thing you're going to click on is download. And below you will get a PDF file. So once you open the PDF file on the second page, it has um, how to set up your free Boom account. So you can always click on this and read more about how to actually set up your account. But I will kind of walk you through that real quick right now. So it says access the set on Boom Learning. All you have to do is click here. Make sure your pop-up blockers are not on because sometimes it might block it. But all you're going to do is you are going to create an account. So you can join with your email address. I'm going to be joining with a different email address just to show you all how to create your own account. So I am just creating a free account. The free account does not let you store data um, and check on the student's scores. However, if you just want to use this as like an extra center activity or assign it as virtual learning work, then this is the perfect solution. You do not need to use, do you do not need a paid account. Okay, so once you create your account, you can just click, yes, that's me right here, accept the term of the service, and then click the big red button that says redeem. And then you will see all of your purchased decks are right here. So they will all show up here in your library when you log in. So to create a fast pin, you're going to click on this blue action box, click on fast pin, and then generate pin. So all your students have to do is copy, you have, just have to copy and paste this link here, and then you can add it into your Google Classroom, into a Seesaw activity. Um, you can just add it through email, pretty much any, any way that you can copy and paste a link, you can put it in. So if you use Canvas or something like that, you can just have the fast play link and students can just play. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when you do the fast play. So the parents or students would copy the link. And then here is the activity. So it ha includes audio directions. Click the bus to hear the sight word. Click the sight word you hear. So then they just click the bus, okay. click the sight word, and it moves to the next one. So it tells them if they're correct or incorrect. So, so if they're wrong, it gives them that mark and so then they can try again. And so you can just continue playing until you are complete and that is the simplest way to add boom cards to your learning. Okay, I hope that was super helpful in setting up boom cards so that your students can use these fun interactive activities as well. You can find a couple links below to some of my favorite boom card resources as well as additional tutorials and a blog post that goes over more about the pros and cons of using boom cards 
or Google Slides in your classroom. So I hope that this is really informative. Make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel and share this video with any teacher friends who are interested in using Boom Cards. I will see you next week. Bye.